Hello guys, welcome to Motion Tutor and I am back with another After Effects very cool and very interesting tutorial and in this tutorial I wanna teach you how you can create this type of cool typography animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin so it's gonna be 100% After Effects tutorial so it's really cool and very cool looking animation so I will teach you how you can create this type of animation inside of After Effects so I don't know why I repeat the same line so let's get started and by the way guys the the idea is inspired from the video have template which has a lot of this type of animation so you can see so i will also put the video have template link in description so if you're interested so you can buy the template otherwise you can watch the tutorial and we will create this type of animation so let's get started first of all create a new composition which will be 1080 by 9020 and 10 seconds long and 30 frames per second and you can select the name whatever you want and then click ok and then create one more composition which width will be 3000 and the height will be 250 and you can change the name to text underscore underscore zero one and then the duration and the frame rate will be same and then click ok and here you can type your text whatever text you want so i will just simply typing some text here so here i type simple cool typography tutorial text and the font name is gilroy then you can go to your project panel and drag this text composition and drag it on this new composition icon and then it will be create a new composition with the same and height and width and then you can change the name to text by pressing ctrl k or go to composition and composition setting and then you can change the name here so then here you can go to effects and preset panel search for cc repital drag this effect on this layer and change the expand left value to maybe 9000 so or something like this and then press p and add a keyframe on position and then go to last frame and change the position to something like uh, how you want so maybe something here will be okay and the main thing is this like you can go to your text composition and the tracking of uh, like the make sure your text will be like fit the uh, whole this composition so if it doesn't uh, fit to, to your comp so you can go to composition and composition setting and then you can check this preview button and then you can like change the width to maybe fit it to your comp size so maybe like uh, add a little bit of space here and here for like spacing in cc repital effect so you can see now it's looking okay and very cool but here now it's repeating so you can increase this so now it's looking okay and then go to project panel and click on this icon to create one more new composition and the size will be 2000 by 2000 and you can change the name to round one and the frame rate and this duration will be same and then click ok and now we have uh, our composition here and then and you can drag this text composition into new icon composition one more time and here you can go to first of all go to composition and change the composition setting and the width will be 250 and the height will be like 3000 so then now then click ok and then this will be change the like height and width and then you can press r and change the rotation to 90 degree and then now you can see it's ok and then you can go to composition setting and change the name to t1 or just change the name to like easier for you to understand and then you can go to layer create a new solid layer and then click ok and then go to effects and preset panel search for fill effect and drag this fill effect on this layer and then you can change the color to white and put it below to text layer and then you can add copy this fill effect and paste by pressing ctrl c and paste it on this layer and change this color to black and then you can go to your like project panel and select this t1 composition press ctrl d to duplicate it open it up go to effects and preset panel search this like search go to effects and in control and change the color to to black and white so it will be white and black and it is black and white so now it's okay and then go to your round one composition and here you can drag the first one here and you can change the rotation to 100 or maybe minus 100 i think 
just minus 100 and then you can search for cc cylinder cylinder effect and then you can drag this effect on there and here you can see the collapse transmission icon click check this out and like click on this to enable it and if you don't see the button press f4 so then you can see the button and then go to the position property change it to maybe around 800 or minus 800 just minus 800 something like this and the rotation will be little bit something like minus 5 around minus 5 so type minus 5 and the y rotation will be 80 and the z rotation will be around 10 or maybe 9 something like this and then you can change the render to inside and then you can press ctrl d to duplicate it and go to project panel and hold the alt key and drag this text to on this layer and then it will be change it and then you can go to the render like the effects and preset effects control and change the render to outside so now we have something like this and then you can go to effects and preset panel and search for drop shadow effect and drag this effect on this layer and then you can change the softness to around 200 or something like this and the distance to 0 and the opacity will be you can decrease it little bit around 30 to 40 percent and then you can add cc light swipe effect on it and you can change the direction to 0 and increase the width amount to something like this and decrease the intensity to around 10 percent so now it will it has little bit dipped if i change it to full resolution so then you can see it has now little bit more depth in our scene so now it's okay you can play with this properties according to your need which you want so like i think now it's okay looking to me so now let's come to our main composition which is our title underscore zero one so then you can drag this round one composition here so here is our round one drag this composition here and scale it down little bit around 70 percent and then you can press d to duplicate it and you can put it to something here and press ctrl d duplicate it again put it here so like select it and position it and press ctrl d duplicate it here and put the all duplicate one to above so then it will be works better so now it's okay looking to me so now you can see you can adjust it reposition it according to your need so now it's looking okay but the width is very high so like i will go if i go to this composition and here i can change the position to maybe around minus 500 so like and also this one to as well minus 500 so now if i go there so you can see I think now it's okay the position so then you want like you can reposition it or just duplicate it again by pressing ctrl d and adjust it ctrl d adjust it select all ctrl d put it above and drag it and then now i think the duplicates is okay and just adjust it something like this so now here we have the final result so it's looking very cool to me and i hope it's also looking cool to you so i will duplicate it one last time and now i think it's ready to go yes so like you have you are able to duplicate it how many times you want it's depending on you so you can see it's looking very cool so guys that's it and uh, if you interest like if you want to if you want i will create cover there's more type of thing like you can see it the template has very cool type of typography so if you want to learn more techniques so you can feel free to subscribe because i will make some more tutorials related to this template like related to this type of typography so feel free to tell me what the like type of uh, like animation you want to learn from this template so i will cover that and uh, i will also put the template link in description so feel free to go and buy the template if you're interested to buy so guys that's it for today and i hope it will be helpful for you so feel free to like and subscribe and i will be catching you in the next tutorial and also guys my patreon link in description so if you want to support me support me on patreon thank you so much bye bye